And uh, those of you that stay with us long term, there isn't a single person I haven't taken care of that hasn't stayed with me long term, not a single person. And I, I have no plans of changing that tradition today. Anybody that stays with us long term, we've always taken care of them. Anybody that stays with us long term, they make money and your dreams also become a reality because that's how this formula works. And that is why sometimes I'm demanding. Uh, I'm demanding because I know what we give in return for the people that are willing to pay the price. It's just what we've done from day one. And so if you are patient and you're willing to be one of those guys, this thing's going to be good for your long term. Reach the sky, touch the stars up above, because it's one time for the underdog. One time for the underdog. You got the world on your So one of the things that's been happening a lot recently is we've been approached by many investors who want to invest into our company since they heard in the industry that we've grown uh, uh, our quarterly uh, top line revenue has beaten its prior best nine quarters in a row in it. And uh, we were approached by uh, Greg Scher who runs Ambina Group and he looks at 100 deals every single year and they only invest into two of them. And we happen to be one of them and through him we were introduced to Gabriel Brenner who is the only uh, Mexican born sports owner in America and through him, we were introduced to Oscar De La Hoya, and they're all now investors. There's a big group. They didn't do a seven-figure deal with us, but an eight-figure-plus deal with us uh, in PHP. So we're excited about that. Well, Golden Boy and, and myself and PHP, I mean, we, we, uh, I'm really happy that we have come together um, to, to really uh, um, make people aware of, of what's really important. So I'm excited about this big event. This will be, uh, I don't know, eight years now that we've been doing big events, seven and a half years. And it's interesting because we started off with our first conference, only a couple hundred people there. We'll have 4,000 people in this event. Um, it should be a great event. And I'm looking forward to the level of maturity. I'll be making an announce announcement on Friday night that's gonna send shock waves through the life insurance industry. So what makes the Marcus Aurelius Suite special is the fact that, you know, places like this, they do it to entertain either high rollers or, you know, people who are willing to spend 40000 a night for a place like this. Or uh, if you're doing a conference here uh, and you're spending a few million dollars, they'll typically host those types of people. Just to kind of give you an idea who stays here, uh, President Barack Obama, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Kardashians, those types of people stay here. Listen, every time I come to Vegas, I gotta go to Chino Poblano. They got my favorite item on the menu, Dan Dan Mian. They got the best tuna ceviche and pot stickers, believe it or not. So, can't wait to have it. I came to Cosmo when it first opened up, uh, right after JC did a concert here, New Year's Eve. I came here because I was looking at possibly doing an event. Here. So I came after they closed the project. I was amazed when I was working out. I came and I said, what restaurant? They said Chino Poblano. I came ate at one o'clock. I came back and ate at four o'clock and I went back on my flight. That's how this whole thing took place. First of all, first timers, first time to a big event of PHP. So a few people, first timers, okay, 10 people are first timers. So this will be 4,000 and it'll be crazy people is what it'll be. I mean, they're gonna be up since three o'clock in the morning. Yep. They'll be sleeping on the floor. Um, they'll be lined up everywhere. The security will kick them out constantly. They'll be telling them what to do and what not to do. Uh, they'll be lit up. They'll be jittery. They'll be wanting everything fast. Um, they're jacked up about what's going on. These are people that are diehard PHP people. And one of the things we need to be doing here is we need to make sure they have a great experience uh, as they leave here. This is their show. This is their all-star game. This is their... A uh, 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 desire where they're working their butts off to come here and celebrate the recognition they got for selling policies all year long. We need to make sure they're getting that feeling from us. Just so you know, without you, this wouldn't happen right now. I, I want you guys to know this. The backbone of the field is us. We make this whole thing work in the back end, but sometimes we don't get credit for it. And so I don't want you to think that this is just another job, that you're just going out there and fulfilling your responsibility, and that is it, although that is what we're supposed to be doing as well, there's a much bigger cost taking place behind closed doors that uh, these people are getting the chance to experience from your efforts. So from me to you, 
uh, let's have a killer event. Having said that, I'm going to go do a walkthrough. I'll leave you guys back to what you're doing. Thank you so much, thank everybody. You, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Crispy bacon. I think Tico does as well. From day one, I made one commitment to everybody in the company. I said I have one responsibility as a CEO, and that is to make the opportunity better today than it was yesterday. I think that's every CEO's responsibility. Rather than focusing too much on shareholders, you just make the company better for employees, for salespeople, for your partners, for everybody that's directly involved you're inevitably going to grow. Money's the same way. Uh, if you only do business to make money initially, I get it. But if you always just do business to make money and just money to show other people how much money you got, then that game never ends. You'll never be able to enjoy the process because it's always tied to you making money so other people will say, oh my God, this guy's so rich. Now you got to make money on what you can do with the money rather than what, you know, how much of it you've saved up or masked. Okay, so we just got word that Maz Jabrani's, this is unfortunate news, his sister, Mariam, who was fighting uh, uh, cancer for a uh, few years, just passed away. Um, you, you, man, you hate to hear these stories, especially last, like when it happens. But his sister, you know, the, the on a, on a positive side, his sister who had uh, stage three cancer fought it till the very end. She went on chemo and there's a documentary about her, uh, Mariam Gibrani, um, that actually shows her telling the story of how she went all over the world to find every single cure for cancer. She fought it till the very end. She brought so much hope for other people that are also fighting cancer. But, um, you know, unfortunate news to know that Maz uh, lost his sister, and you know that's a that's a that's a difficult one because you've had so many different memories with a sister of yours, especially them leaving Iran, coming here, all that stuff. But um, tough to hear that. Let me see if I can get a hold of him right now. Hi, you reach Maz Jobrani. Leave your name and number, and I will get back to you. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Maz. This is uh, Patrick B. David giving you a call from PHP Agency, the conference that's happening this weekend. Uh, on Friday night, um, you were scheduled to perform. Hey, I just wanted to call you, man. I got the news about your sister, and uh, I didn't want to wait till you came here to give you the news. Uh, my condolences goes out to you and your family, brother. I mean, you are somebody that's loved by uh, myself and many of my family and friends, and your sister did a fantastic job inspiring many other people who struggled with this vicious, annoying um you know sickness called cancer and she set such a great example i thought the documentary she did was one of the best but brother i just wanted to call you man i just wanted to call you, you don't need to call me back text anything like that you're, you're you're you have so many different things you're dealing with right now just want you to know my condolences goes out to you and your family we love you we cannot wait to see you uh on friday at the event here and if anything changes you, you need to get a hold of me hold of any of us you have my direct contact here time when I got started uh, it didn't seem real I, it was so far away I don't think I'd ever be able to do it but just with hard work persistency consistency getting better challenging myself always trying to find the best 
me, the best next version of me, here we are. This is still pretty insane uh, that we're still here overlooking the Caesars pool uh, in the Marcus Aurelius suite. But I'll tell you, uh, we just finished up our ownership meeting right now. We're on our way down to the marketing director meeting. Everybody here has got to figure out a way to be thinking big. I just posted something today and I said, I believe, you know how some people say entrepreneurship is not for everybody and da 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 da. I believe it's for everybody. How big you build it is on you. You got to shake up your mind and stop thinking so small. Family, mom, dad, brother, sister, you know, you're comparing yourself to your dad because your dad made 79 grand, you made 83, so you're happy. That's not it. Your dad is expecting you to kill it. Well, you got to think bigger. Let's make the right decisions, character, integrity. I don't want any stupid decisions being made. Every time you're about to do something dumb, ask yourself, if the camera was on you, would you do it? Make the right choice. Don't let somebody come to you and tell you how to make the right choice. Go make the right choice. 